I've always wondered how coon tails, aka raccoon tails, would look on curly hair, so today we're gonna find out and also try out Billie Eilish roots. This is what I'm starting out with after fading out blue and purple with three rounds of ascorbic acid and bleaching my roots. I'm doing a center part and then sectioning off about one square inch on each side to be my money piece slash bangs. Then I twisted them out of the way to save them for later. I spent four hours doing my Gel X nails and don't feel like staining them, so I am going to be wearing gloves today. But it's only because of my nails, not because Brad Mondo scolded me for not wearing gloves. Anyways, I'm using X Mondo hair dye in the shade Rodolite for most of my head, and for the stripes, I've really been liking this Adore hair dye in jet black. I'm trying to grow out my hair, so that's like half of why I'm doing Billie Eilish roots and half because I just haven't tried it yet. And here's my test strand to make sure it looks how I was expecting it to look. And bam, that is a beautiful pink. On the super blonde roots, ugh, and turns the length into a rich magenta-y purple. So let's go for it and do the rest of my head. I'm doing this in small sections to make sure it's very saturated and I picked up manageable amounts at a time in my hand instead of slathering them to keep the process neat since people were mentioning that last time and I just really like staying organized with it, going slow and intentionally and making sure I get everywhere. I really love both of these colors and in the end I'm glad I didn't bleach the length of my hair because I really hate bleaching anywhere more than once and I want to keep my hair as healthy as possible and keep the same curl pattern and after three rounds of gently fading the color it was good enough and perfect for this style. A few videos ago I showed how I make my own hair growth oil at home so if you're also growing yours out that's one thing you can try along with not overlapping bleach and actually wearing your bonnet every night and tightening it so it stops falling off. I'm just checking that everywhere is saturated and now it's time for the crazy part so I go in with clean gloves and I'm untwisting my money piece, combing it out and adding a little over an inch of pink at the roots and then adores jet black in the same length under it and I realized for this precision work it would be easier to use a brush to keep it sharp and coated on both sides then skipped down an equal section to add pink later and did another black band under that. One more and I did my best to keep these lines sharp then I went back in with my fingers and added pink in the empty spaces. For each section I started in the middle and then worked my way towards the black on the bottom and top of the bands to make sure it didn't bleed, then made sure my roots and baby hairs were saturated, then stayed still for an hour while the dye did its thing, and thankfully it didn't bleed when I rinsed it in cold water, and this is the final look. The colors turned out so vivid and the coontails are actually readable on my curly hair which shakes me to my core because I used to have to straighten my hair in middle school to clip the straight ones in. So now seeing this on curly hair for the first time makes me so happy and I can't wait to braid them to see how it looks and potentially break my years of no heat and straighten them if you guys wanna see that. So let me know and I'm also posting a video on this makeup soon.